Uh, Sergeant Grabo, this is Terry Nemmers, 320-283-5713. Today is March 6, 2013. Your message says you will not be available until March 4, 2013. That was two days ago. I presume that you probably want to change your message. Uh, I'm calling about a data request that I submitted to you on February 27th. I received an automatic reply from you on the same day saying that you'll be out of the office. In fact, you repeated the same message that you just gave, saying you'll be out till the 4th. Again, it's the 6th today. just want to know, um, one, why you didn't respond to my email and tell me that it's in the works, and two, um, are you going to change your message on your phone? Thank you. Uh, again, Terry Nemmers, 320-283-5713. Appreciate a call back. Thank you. March 14th, 2013. Sergeant Jesse Grabo. <laughs> Sergeant Grabo, this is Terry Nemers. How are you doing today? Good. Who are you speaking with? Terry Nemers? Terry, yes, sir. Say, um, I submitted a data request to you on February 27th, and I received an automatic response from you saying that you're going to be out of the office till March 4th. And then I called you on the 6th and informed you that you didn't uh, call me back or give me a confirmation email and uh, I haven't received any information from you so I'm presuming that uh, you know it's I think tomorrow's your last day seeing so you know you got that grace period there seeing so you told me you weren't going to be in the office till the fourth tomorrow's the last day I was just wondering uh, are you planning on sending that information uh, today or tomorrow? Well, sir, your, uh, information has been submitted out Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Okay, I'm getting a lot of feedback here as I'm starting to talk. So, anyways, your information was submitted to the office. I do know that it is being processed, and uh, the rest of the information is being taken care of through Lieutenant Roski. So. Oh, okay. Well, what does that mean? I mean, what? So, what is what is being handled by you or whatever? Break this down for me. I need specifics, not generalities. Okay. Well, you're gonna have to deal with Lieutenant Roski on that because uh, he's the one taking care of that now, there, sir. Well, actually, I think you've been informed that I filed an internal affairs complaint against Lieutenant Roski for not processing my uh, data practice request. <laughs> so I have zero confidence in uh, Lieutenant Roski processing my data request for John Paul Longnecker. See, and I do believe that your name is, your name is on the data request, not Lieutenant Roski's. So if it does not appear here, I think I'll be uh, filing the complaint with the internal affairs against you, not against Lieutenant Roski. Are we clear on that? Okay, well, I'm, sure, I'm just going to have to refer to my lieutenant, and that is Lieutenant Eric Roski. Well, like I said, if I do not receive this information by, uh, I do believe Monday would be the last day for the mail to arrive here for a Friday delivery or being the data being placed in the mail on Friday, Monday would be the last day. And I guess I would be starting to file my complaint on Tuesday. So just so we're understood that that's what the process is going to be on my end. Okay. All right. So then we're clear on that then. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. I think there was something else I wanted to ask you. Oh, um, is there some reason why you refuse to answer my phone calls or uh, respond to my emails? I think that's uh, hateful, rude, and obstructive. I'm sorry, was that last part again, sir? I said, I was wondering why you chose the rude, hateful, and obstructive route of not answering my emails or my phone calls. Okay, I've got a bad connection here on the cell phone. You have to say that part one more time. Okay. I sent you emails, and I sent I made phone calls to you. You did not return yeah. any of them. You understand? You got that part of it so far? Yes, sir. Okay, good. I consider that hateful, contemptuous, rude, and obstructive on your part. Do you got that? Do you understand that part, too? Okay, well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but it has been referred to the general officer. Sure, I can assure you of that. Uh, I'm talking about your behavior. That's what I'm talking about. 
Do you have any explanation for that behavior? I guess I don't, sir. Okay. Well, I'll take that as a contemptuous response then, too. So, all righty. Well, then I will be uh, expecting that in the mail either on Saturday or on Monday. And if I don't, then, of course, I told you what my actions are going to be. Well, actually, I already informed you that I have no, no confidence in uh, Lieutenant Roski, so you can keep on repeating that little line as much as you want. In fact, I've been informed who the, the uh, compliance officer is for the State Patrol, and if I've informed you that I've been having problems with Lieutenant Roski, then you should have referred me to that officer instead, correct? I said, I have been informed who the data compliance officer is, and it's not Lieutenant Roski, correct? I guess I'm not following you there, sir. Who is, the, who is the data compliance officer for the State Patrol? Are you talking public information officer? Yes. Yes, Lieutenant Roski oversees all public information officers here. And, well, that was not the information I received from the uh, Internal Affairs Division. They told me it was someone else. All right? So, obviously, if I'm having problems with Lieutenant Rosky, you should have referred me to that other individual. Who, of course, I don't remember exactly who it is right now. don't have that. Let's see. Actually, I just found it here. E. Joseph Newton. Department of Public Safety's Data Practice Compliance Official. That's who that is. All right? Did you, under, did you hear me say that? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So if I was having problems with Lieutenant Roski, you should have said, Oh, Mr. Nemers, you should be speaking with the Department of Public Safety's Data Practice Compliance Official, E. Joseph Newton. Shouldn't you? You still there? Okay. But you didn't do that, did you? I guess I'm not following all this, but I guess if that's what you feel you need to contact, that's probably the your best place to go with that. Well, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about and your evasive answers and your refusal to answer me specifically say a lot. So obviously I'm just wasting my time with the rest of this phone conversation, so I'll end it right now. Thank you. Okay. Bye.